Hello my fellow squaddies, how are you all doing? I'm hoping that you all had a fantastic weekend. So thank you for tuning into today's podcast and a very, very warm welcome. So the daily fail can't seem to switch their focus from the couple that they call irrelevant. Remember, the Daily Fail keeps saying how Harry and Meghan are irrelevant. They keep spreading negative stories about Harry and Meghan, right? If they hate them so much, then why do they keep talking about them? Why do they talk about Harry and Meghan each and every single day? It's really absurd. I guess the papers must be sold at all costs, right? Now the front page of the Daily Mail reads that... Queen's Fury over naming of baby Lilibet. You know, I just can't with these people. I don't know why anyone in their right mind would publish such slander against a toddler to distract people from the ongoing uh, negative story about the royal family. We all know what is going on within the royal family. We still have the Prince Andrew case. We have the monarchy uh, just performing so badly that is concerning popularity and then this story comes to obviously distract people from what is going on i'm sure that so many people know that and people are not fools and you know the daily mail or the daily fail is basing this story uh, upon a book which is said to be released on october of this year and this book is from the same person who wrote that King Charles repeatedly called Prince Harry after the Queen's death. And that story came out a few days ago and obviously it was to make Prince Harry look like the bad person and to make King Charles look like this victim. Well, not to start any conspiracy theories, but in my own opinion, the monarchy is performing so badly at this point in time and that is just a known fact. So I think... The British media, in coordination with the royal family, are trying by all means to paint King Charles as the good person. So anyone else who can come up as the good person, uh, apart from King Charles, are being painted as the bad ones, and then King Charles remains to be the good person. Look at what is happening to Harry and Meghan, and look now what these people are trying to say about the Queen. You know, there's there's been this narrative that King Charles can't fill his mother's shoe, which is a fact because uh, what the Queen achieved, you can just see that King Charles has not been able to achieve that. After King Charles took over is when the monarchy reached its lowest ever in popularity. None of what these people write makes sense because are we supposed to believe that the queen was furious because his grandson named his daughter after her? It's not a bad thing. I don't think anyone would be offended because someone named their child after you, especially when it's your own grandson. The Daily Fail is doing such a great job dragging Queen Elizabeth's legacy in the gutter. So they mean that a 92-year-old woman was more angry at the naming of an innocent child as opposed to her darling son Prince Andrew slithering around the world allegedly raping underaged trafficked children. How does that even add up? And remember at that time when Princess Lilibet was born, two of the Queen's sons were having problems. One of one of her sons had been accused of rape and the other one had been laundering money through his charity. But a mixed race baby having her name was the most upsetting thing. I mean, make this make sense. You see, Queen Elizabeth II is still being used as a stick to beat Harry and Meghan with even after her death, which isn't doing what they, these people think it's doing. It's not doing the monarchy any favor it's not doing queen elizabeth any favor it's not doing her legacy any favor but i also think that that is their mission their mission is to destroy her legacy because she's no longer here so they're trying to save this new king but one thing that i don't understand is how someone can be making a fuss 
about a couple naming their child after a grandma to the point of it being deemed newsworthy. Because I've never seen William and Kate experiencing the same things that Harry and Meghan are experiencing or William and Kate's children experiencing the same things that Archie and Lilibet are experiencing. When Kate and William's child, Charlotte, was named after the Queen, in fact, Charlotte's full names are Charlotte Elizabeth Diana. She was named after the Queen and Diana. But I've never seen the media talk about that. I've never seen the media uh, questioning why a Charlotte was named after Queen Elizabeth or uh, how the Queen's reaction was after, uh, after Charlotte was named after her. I've never seen that. But when it comes to Lilibet Diana, it seems like these people are so furious that a biracial child has been named after their queen, which is really pathetic. And also remember that when Princess Lilibet was born, this is the title that the Daily Mail had. They wrote that the queen took Harry and Meghan calling their daughter Lilibet as the compliment it was intended to be. New book claims. I don't know which new book that was, but these people need to stick to one story. So which one is true between what they reported at that time when the Queen was alive and what they are reporting right now? Of course, something seems off. And I choose to believe uh, what Harry and Meghan said. Harry said that they had, uh, he had his grandmother's blessing before naming his daughter Lilibet. So yeah, I choose to believe Prince Harry all the time. And I also read somewhere that Queen Elizabeth's father named a horse after Queen Elizabeth's nickname, that is Lilibet. So now we are supposed to believe that Queen Elizabeth II was fine with her father giving a horse her nickname, but very angry when her grandson gave his daughter the same nickname. Now make it make sense. You know, Queen Elizabeth II's nickname was Lilibet because she could not pronounce her name when she was young. So they, they nicknamed her Lilibet. So why is it an issue now when um, Prince Harry and Meghan named their child that? And, you know, this book claims that a source gave them the information, a, a nameless ID. Now you tell me if you're going to believe Prince Harry's words or a person who doesn't have a face or a name. Well, I'm always going to choose to believe a, a person who's come forward to say their own story rather than, rather than a person who's hiding behind these names such as Palace AD or a source. And even Dr. Shola made a comment about this because people just can't seem to understand why the Daily Mail is making such a big deal out of this story. So Dr. Shola wrote this comment on X, on X stating that God give me strength. People have lost their God for second minds. One, Harry and Meghan did not need anyone's permission least at all Queen Elizabeth to name the child Lilibet. The fact they got her blessing was out of respect, not necessity. Number two, the name Lilibet predates Queen Elizabeth II for goodness sake. She didn't own it or create it. Number three, what grandmother in her right mind would be angry at a great grandchild being named to honor her? I have very strong views about Queen Elizabeth as a monarch and her legacy, but even I'm flabbergasted at these spurious claims that do nothing but blight her character and judgment. If these unnamed sources and ADs thought this would damage Harry and Meghan, they're wrong. The Daily Mail has successfully dredged up a dead queen and given her name a beating in order to profit off defaming Harry and Meghan again. Shameful. I totally agree with Dr. Shola. I really can't fathom what these people think every time that they write such things. And she's speaking it how, she's, how she sees it. She's just speaking the truth. 
these people the daily mail and the uk media in general have just gone insane they're just insane with the things that they keep writing about harry and megan in the hopes that they're going to defame harry and megan but what this is doing is defaming the queen's legacy and also doing injustice to a toddler because you can imagine if lilibet comes up to age and she sees the kind of things that the daily mail wrote about her own name can you imagine that the distress that this would cause her but of course the people who write these papers don't seem to be thinking about the future they just seem to be thinking about the profits they're going to get off of writing such things now and then but it's not fair at all because it's going to have repercussions either as sooner or later it's not fair at all and i think these people are truly pathetic for writing such kind of things considering that that is something that happened a very long time ago they should just let go of this already they themselves even wrote at that time that harry got uh, blessings from his grandmother queen elizabeth ii to use um her name on his daughter so i don't know why they're continuing with another lie coming up with more lies specifically at this time well what do you think about it what do you think uh why do you think these people are doing this right now let me know your opinions concerning this and i'll see you all squaddies on the next podcast have a wonderful and amazing time goodbye